this video, I'm going to show you how to stand out as a junior in a senior only market. If you are unaware, the market is completely changed in 2024 and most people follow outdated advice, which is honestly going to lead you nowhere. If you want to stop wasting your time and actually get some results from the amount of effort you put in to actually make this career change, then please pay attention to this video. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, if you want to learn how to stand out, in a senior only market, we must first define what the senior is. Otherwise, we won't be able to compare where we are with where we want to be. So the way I define a senior is a person who saw a lot of bullshit. I understand that someone spent a lot of time trying to fix different things. A person that saw different systems and then a person that is able to solve problems within different systems all the time and is not really scared of jumping into technologies that they've never heard about before. A senior is not scared of going from a React project to an Angular project or a senior is not scared from going from a front-end project to a back-end project. I know that a senior is capable of being extremely flexible and is not really narrowed down to one specific thing. It's not narrowed down to one particular technology or even language. And also a senior spent a lot of time writing code. There is no hack around spending time doing something. I recently started sim racing and I caught myself watching videos about sim racing more than I'm actually sim racing. Sim racing means simulating real life racing, you know, with GT cars and Formula One cars and whatnot. Truly, the only way of getting better at something is by actually doing it. Yes, you need some theory to understand how things work, to understand the mechanics of creating software and whatnot, but time in the field, time in the battle cannot be replaced by anything, okay? So this is one thing that you cannot hack, if that makes sense. Now, it's actually quite simple to stand out in this market as a junior. I have learned about the law of inversion. If I want to get fit, I need to do the opposite of getting fat. If I want to get a developer job, I have to do the opposite of someone who is never going to get a developer job. If you saw any of my videos on my channel about portfolios, me reviewing real life portfolios from real people who are trying to break into the industry, you will see a few patterns. For example, their projects are unfinished. Their projects look like trash. Their projects are not solving any specific problem. So then if you want to stand out, you have to find a problem, okay? And this problem can be a problem that you have in, a, in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe a way that you track your calories to achieve some sort of fitness goal. Or maybe you work in a coffee shop and in that coffee shop there is a particular way that you'd like the till to work like or maybe you're an accountant and the software looks uh, absolutely grotesque maybe whatever industry you're in i'm pretty sure you're working with some software that is not doing what you want it to do and this is the first step like really understanding what problem you want to solve obviously before you get to this you need to learn the basics of programming so if you don't know the basics of programming this whole discussion this whole video is unnecessary for you so if you want to learn programming click the second link in the description and join my free course now that you got the problem you need to make sure that the way you solve this problem is packaged in the right way if you ever saw one of those cooking shows with gordon ram like the way they put the food on the plate matters a lot Okay, if you go to a nice restaurant and if you don't go to McDonald's, but if you go to like a five-star restaurant, if you've ever been to one, you'll see that the, the way the steak is placed with the potatoes, with the sauce, with whatever, is like an entire experience. They could also just throw everything in one, in one bowl of soup and the, the food will still have the same characteristics. It's still gonna end up chewed in my, in my stomach. What's important is when you pay a premium is to get a good looking package. So that's why if you want to become a front-end developer, I know that you're not a designer, but what you present to the world is extremely important. You have to make sure that the problem that you have is gonna be packaged in the right way. If you wanna package it in the right way, you have multiple options. The first option, which is the most expensive one, is gonna be to hire a designer, okay? This is gonna cost you a few thousand dollars. The free version of this is for you to go ahead and learn design. This might take you a couple of years, right? To learn design properly. Uh, I'm not joking. And the third option, 
option which is in between is to buy some sort of templates okay so i found um, a couple of websites i always mention this one lexingtonteams.com go there and buy a template it's a hundred bucks i'm not affiliated with a guy i don't even have an affiliate code but i really like his stuff i bought his template for myself it's 100 bucks it's totally worth it you don't need to know design and that's gonna help you package your problem okay because that's gonna help you stand out the, the video is about standing out the video is not about standing out for free this 100 dollars it's a gate for people who do not want to spend this who are not as committed as you they will not spend this and they will keep trying with free stuff that everyone can get and then they will not stand out the other thing that i want you to do is i found this guy called mark lu on twitter and he has a product called ship fast it's a package that help you launch your startup in days not weeks that's his his usp right so he pretty much set up everything for you from the technology point of view and you just have to actually write the code to solve the problem that you chose in the first place and you can use the team from lexington to have a beautiful made landing page you have pretty much every single problem solved so you can only focus on writing code to solve that problem and then you put that on your resume there are platforms like exponent and fiverr that you can go to to find people to practice interviews with it's gonna cost you maybe 200 dollars per hour and whatnot spend five hours with someone that can interview you properly when you feel like you're ready to do it you spend another two three hundred dollars to get the resume done for you and that's gonna make you stand out you have a cool a sick ass project you spend some money on it then you prepare for the interviews you know that you got this you you got feedback on the way deliver things and then you have a resume which is gonna get you interviews okay that's how it works this is what i would do if i would be you if i would want to start from scratch trying to get into this industry again um, this is not how to stand out for free this is how to stand out if there will be a thousand people watching this maybe one maybe two will actually do what i've told them to do here now before you go i have an offer i'm gonna get your job ready in nine months or less or i'll give you all your money back and five thousand dollars for wasting your time I have invested a bunch of time and effort and money to make my program the best program for aspiring developers and I believe in it so much that I'm pretty much putting everything on the line to show you that this is the right thing for you to do if you want to become a developer. So what you have to do to be a part of this, click on the first link in the description, fill out the application form and get in touch with me or someone from my team and we'll see if you're the right fit for what we do. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.